Sebastian, you know I love to listen to the forest whenever I feel worried. Here it is, the day after graduation, only weeks before you are to be proud king and go wandering through the forest, listening to the tree talk. Bring the princess hall. Bring the princess hall! I know, Sebastian. I just I don't think I'm ready to be king. The fact remains, sire, you will be king, and very soon. When your sainted mother and father passed away and left you in my charge, I promised them when you came of age, you would be prepared for your reign. I know, but Sebastian, I don't even know who I am yet. I'm sure it will come to you. Until then, might I suggest faking it? Really? You wouldn't be the first. <laughs> and you wouldn't be the last. To the castle! To the castle. But still, these questions, they nag me. They just nag and nag. No, not you, Buttercup. Oh, I just wonder, me, who am I? A far from perfect God. to sing a song, a guy who dreams like a lion, but wakes up like a lamb, me, who am I, but the guy I am, that's His Royal Highness, Christopher Rupert, slayer of dragons, pitiless to ogres, destroyer of griffins and giants, no friend to the Right here. Shall we journey on? 
very well, Lord Pickleton. Be well, young lady. Oh, I don't want charity. No, no, take the coin as a present in admiration of a true friend in this world. Buttercup, come on. Let's go. Oh, here. Sorry. Not on my mind. Thank you for saving my life, dear Ella. I shall return the favor. Oh, I didn't do it to have a favor be returned. I have this shawl here that only has a few holes and smells of cabbage. You can wear it. Oh, yeah. not necessary. What a handsome man that was, and so kind and generous. That is but not a man. That is Prince Topher. What? The slayer of giants and dragons. <laughs> he has just returned to us from university. He is to be crowned king. Oh, that man, a world leader. Well, he appears to have a heart, mind, and soul. Who well, it can't be. Marie, you're crazy. Yes, I am. But that does not change the fact that he is our own Prince Topha, and he has returned to be our ruler. Look on your coin. Why, that is him. Look on the left. Oh, such silly ears. And the crown has no face. He should wear a floppy hat. <laughs> Here, Marie. Please take this coin and buy yourself something you want to eat. Why is it always the very poorest who are the most generous? It breaks my heart. Here is our Jean-Michel. He will spout gibberish now and bore us. Be <laughs> nice. Good day, Jean-Michel. Oh, and do you know why the poor are the kindest, Stella, and the crazy Marie? No, but I have a feeling you're about to be most forthcoming. Because it is a corrupt system where they smash a moral compass. You will forgive me if I just stagger about and mutter. Mutter, 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 mutter. <laughs> Today, I shall go along to the castle to protest the corruption that riddles our government. You must come with me. Oh, that is Madame, the little stepmother. I shall show to the prince. He will have no choice but to listen. Oh, Cinderella! Oh, yes, but I am a vision for what this kingdom could be. Cinderella!
part, don't give away your heart, don't take what the world gives you. Now is the time, the time to live, no other time is real. Yesterday has gone, tomorrow is a guess, today you can see and feel how. No, 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 listen, trades people, takers, and fish walkers. I shout to the prince, but he ignores me. If he and Sebastian can take the land of the very poorest, it is only a matter of time before they take from all of us. For you just can't wait to be served by fate on a silver plate or a tray.
Bugger. All the wishes in the world are poppycock and twaddle. Yes, yes! To battle, the crown is ours! 
I should walk up to the prince and scratch his lip. Oh, now. Make him drink lemonade. Yeah. Oh, stay. Stash is cool. Yeah, I'll take these things as they are. Now is the time for us to march to the palace, the peasants, the tradespeople, and finally get the prince to start listening to us instead of having his fancy ball. Well, you should do that. You should have march up to him and talk to him. He won't listen to me. He uses his castle to hide from the truth. Him meeting me will never happen. The only thing funnier is you going to the ball. Ah! Yeah, why don't you just go to the ball and ask the priest when he's going to start noticing. Noticing that the people are being evicted from their land. Ha! That is absurd. Ha! Ha! Thank <laughs> you. 
nice time and a dance, perhaps? Wrong answer. I've got marrying royalty on my mind. So which one is it here? Uh, maybe it's me. <laughs> Not likely. You're no prince. You're ordinary. What makes you think I'm ordinary? Well, we're doing our robot and you can't even keep the beat. When we get to the waltz, you're going to trip over your two left feet and land on your flat little bottom. End of discussion. Hope to talk to you later. I've moved on. <laughs> Everything that is all-consuming. Kindness, and you must 
all trying oh, it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let me go first. Kindness. Isn't it wonderful to have a pleasant young lady such as yourself in our court? Thank you. And what an honor it is to be at this wonderful party you are throwing. It's like every time they speak, a part of me dies. <laughs> this room is filled with some of the loveliest women I have ever seen. I just saw they have vanilla cake on the buffet!
that that's kind? How can you say that that's kindness? This is all so wonderful. You are so wonderful, but I have to go! Wait, young lady, where are you going? Wait, stop! Your Highness! Gentlemen, yes. lanterns, we must find her if it's the last thing we do. She is my lady! Yes, he's witty, so is Army. And I really like the way he holds a room. Clever Connie, ever charming. Impossible, I know. Impossible. 
we shall do the impossible. Ten minutes ago, we were dancing in the palace of all places, and her gown was like a cloud of snowy white. How the moonlight shone its beams upon our faces, till she vanished like a phantom. Hey. Look! I'm coming! 
my carriage. I was quite convinced my daughter was going to be queen and I would never have to come back to this. And now, well, I'm back to this. <laughs>
and go and go, go! <laughs> the only thing I have to comfort me after this disastrous evening is that the prince and so completely devastated this old dream day. Well, oh, it was hilarious. The powder room was full of gambling when we were leaving. Why did the girl run away? My feeling is up close. She was physically unappealing. <laughs> The bed, my lovely daughters! Cinderella, you stay here and clean up this pigsty of a parlor. And why is there a pumpkin on the table? It makes no divine sense! <laughs> is there anything else you'd like to know? Oh, well, no, no, it sounds like a really marvelous ball. I really wish I could have been there. How did you know all that happened at the ball earlier this evening? I just imagined it. Suppose it had a vision. Oh, interesting. Quick, how many fingers? Two, three! Fascinating! Where are your visions now? <laughs> You're, saying, You're picking on me just because I said the prince was wearing a white jacket. You didn't say it. And he was! Oh, there is something going on here. Thank you, sir. More than usual, I need to get back here to see you. Here, let me help you with that. Oh, your hand is so rough and calloused from work. Just like the hands of the woman I shook this evening. Who danced with the prince? I don't know. You what you're talking about. It was I you! How did you dance in glass shoes? Oh, wait! Wait a minute! You won't tell the others, will you? But damn it, Charlotte! No, no, never! Who oh, are you mad at me that I stole a prince from you? I will confess a secret to you. I never loved the prince! Or even liked him. There's someone else that I how wonderful for you! Who is it? Well, Madame hates him. Madame hating him doesn't narrow the field. Who is it? <laughs> if I promise to keep your secret of the prince, do you promise to keep my secret of my forbidden love? <laughs> I will. It's Jean Michel, the firebrand. Oh, he is a good man. And he seems angry for all the right reasons. <laughs> and make it a better place. I mean, you gotta love a guy like that. Mm -hmm. You may one day win Jean Michel, but I'll never love the Prince Choker. If he saw me as I truly was, he'd have no interest in me. It's not true. He would love you for who you are. I don't see that. Well, uh, if Madame ever saw me with Jean Michel, I, oh, I shudder to think what she might do. Are you sure you can keep my secret? I can, and you can keep mine. We shall have the secret that will make us all conspirators. <laughs>
three nights in a row you search, and here it is four o'clock in the morning. It's as if you are testing my good nature. The second that woman in white ran off, which we all must admit seems to imply she has a police record. <laughs> the second she is gone, you don't want to dance with any of the other girls. Are there poor people in the kingdom who have had their land taken from them? If they had, I would tell you. Do they need our help? No one has had anything taken away. Everyone donates joyfully. In all this talk, where did you hear it? It's a girl. I don't know that she is to be trusted. Please, come back to the castle. The work is piling up. Something isn't right. As you said. The ring, sire. Oh, right, sorry, what are you stamping this time? Nothing, sire, hardly worth troubling your beautiful mind. Let me read it. I should explain. Let me read this on my own. Your future majesty, let's go back to the palace and allow me to draw up some coverage. You get I'm reading this. That will be awesome. Oh, Pastor, oh, I will ask you if I need anything explained. <laughs> No, no, Sebastian! I can explain, sire. How did you do this in my name? I am maintaining this life for you. Without my watchful eye, you should be a pauper. Would you like that? Oh, that girl, the one who talks to me. I want to talk to that girl. A troublemaker. I'm having another ball. Uh, uh, a, a banquet, and she'll come tonight. She will come. This is lunacy. She will come. We're having a banquet tonight. You're inviting everyone in the kingdom. Don't forget who you're talking to. Don't you forget who you're talking to. We're having a banquet tonight, and I am finding that girl. Very yeah, well. Sire, she won't come. You don't even know her name. And if she really thought you were worthy of all her high ideals, she would have stayed, wouldn't she? A banquet! The prince is looking dreamy-eyed. He has since giving the ball. And still he wants to find his bride, the one he lost at the ball. So spread the word throughout the land, the prince is throwing up a It is his wish that the woman he met at the ball will attend. As for the rest of us, well, what can I say? There's gonna be a ham. Talk it back to me! I want to keep an eye on what women are there. I'm not giving up control this time. Spread the word! Charlotte, make haste! Those shoes are delicate and dainty! 
know. Look, everything is ruined. Hurry, the prince needs you. He wants you. I can't. Why do you think he's having the second event tonight? To try to find you? Every time I try to take a step forward, Madame pushes me back. The prince would never love me if he saw me as I truly am. I can't keep fighting. If you have a dream, then very soon thereafter, you're going to have to fight for it. Why otherwise, how would you know the dream is yours? What life Exactly. It is your life. Beyond the voice that keeps insisting no. There is something more than doubting.
then Simon E. Wall begins to parade. Did Simon fall the banquet? I'm waiting for her. She has to come. Very well, sir. But be warned that what is a pack of gossip, so I'd hurry it along if I were you.
Mister. I'm gonna marry you. Wow, the stakes are really piling up. <laughs> it does not fit. Oh, of course it doesn't fit. I'm not the girl the prince has fallen in love with. None of us is that girl. Is that the last eligible lady in the kingdom? She appears to be, yes, so oh, she can't be. I saw you do the go, but come, can we end the charade? So everyone truly tried on the slipper. <laughs> <laughs> Is marriage still on the table? <laughs> 